Someone stayed home sick today. Yep. Not you're looking at sick. I'm. I just couldn't. What does that explain? I mean, maybe, maybe the viewers that are more neurotypicals get that, but it's like. Uh, everything about the thought of going to work made me pissed off and sad. Okay. So, not. Okay. What did Mint freak out about? Uh, over the last 30 days, I've had overdraft charges, so unusual spending on financial. You usually spend one dollar. I think that's got to be an average over the last like year and a half. Not like that. Yeah. Udemy. Uh, Udemy and the other one, U Ud Academy, are. Uh, little video learning course things that teach you who knows what. I saw that the apps were free, but it's all pay for the content. Mm. So for this, treat yourself to over 300 courses for $10 each. Yeah. Yeah, the courses right now, they're on sale for $10. If I go to when they're not on sale, which is never, there's always a sale. Um, like Steam. Kind of. Uh, some courses are like normally twenty bucks. Some are normally two thousand bucks. Mmm. Um, you get accredited for this stuff? Nope. Nice. Just here's how you do it. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So do you want to explain that phone app I told you about last night? Which one? The, basically, the boink for your phone? Oh. Okay. So, I don't get how it works. I'm putting a link below for it. What's it called again? It's... Crayfus? Crayfus. So, what it apparently does is it uses the distributed, already existing network of all cell phones to build a very large uh, cosmic ray detector on a voluntary basis. And what it does is when you have your phone plugged in, it uses your camera to detect the things that uh, cascade off uh, cosmic rays hitting the atmosphere. Which is like, okay, that's really cool. The issue I can see a lot of people having with it is it's using your camera, tagging stuff automatically with your geolocation and your name and upload it to their server. So if, for instance, you leave your camera plugged in while you're doing something naughty or scandalous, they don't have evidence of it. But if you don't care about that, you can help science. Plus, according to their website, you, if, you're, if images from your camera are used in their study, you get to be an author on the paper, which is like big, but that list of authors is also going to be huge. Well, not necessarily. True. If the, because the reason why is they need a very large array, a VLA, not the VLA, but a VLA, eh, is because the higher energy ones, which come from strange sources, when they hit the atmosphere, they explode over kilometers of area. Hmm. So, so you have to have a big yeah. array to be able to catch all of that, or to or to catch some of it. Like there's no very large array in Portland for that. And it's say Gabe has one, Eddie's got one, and I've got one going, or Alyssa does because well, anyways. But yeah, that's east end of Portland, two in Beaverton. Yeah. You know, well, let's say someone out in Intel does the same thing. Well, you've got. I mean, that's 20 miles yeah. in pretty much a straight line. And if it explode, if it hits and explodes over the Portland area, yeah. you know. So, that's what that is. I think I'm going to download it, but I have no idea if it's, like... It's in a beta process right now. You just sign up for it, and okay. they'll let you know when it... I, I did it on my phone. I don't have... Their website listed that it's... You know, you just, you'll get an email when to download it. Okay. 
And apparently every cell phone n as new as or newer than the iPhone 1 can do this. Pretty much anything with a decent um, digital camera. Yeah. Like my Photon could have done it. Yeah. Um, In fact, since we have a... We don't have any more, do we? No. I think we find... I don't know. If you have bonus cell phones lying around, bonus cell phones. Like, well, like I said, the thing is they don't really have much. I mean, yeah, you can download it on a phone, but you have to wait to get picked. Yeah. If they move into regular mode, you know, yeah. hell, I can plug in a phone and leave it sit around all damn day over in the kitchen while I go about my business. Yeah. <laughs> my question, though, is does it have to have a view of the sky? Or is it just going to be like, oh, look, an exotic particle just shot through our living room? It it can't detect exotic particles. It oh. can detect infrared light. Yeah. That's the thing. They know how to do it. It's sort of like, what does my computer do for calculations on Boink? What's it doing? It's looking at Fourier transforms of... I don't know what the hell it does. I know what a Fourier transform is, but I don't know what the hell it's looking for on SETI. It's computing data. It's literally just computing data. Mine, the, the cell phone, would take data and upload it. Yeah. And they'll figure it out. They may even send it out to a boink thing to compute the data. It would be wise to. Well, be buttload of data. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying is the camera, and we've seen it, we can take the little thing and, like, shine the... Yeah. And whatnot. Yeah, the cameras pick up uh, near IR and near UV, too, I think. Yeah. But probably even more. I'm just not sure. The, the thing was like a weird little flow chart. Hopefully they'll have more information on it. Yeah. But anyway, um, we probably are going to Star Trek today so that you can get some of the content figured out for your guys. You probably need to upgrade one of your ships. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Anything more? Uh, you gonna like call your buddies here? If you're, oh wait, that's not till two. I'm gonna contact people, but yeah. You instead should probably of, maybe contact them early while I get this video. Yeah, instead of calling Jordan, I'm gonna message him. Okay. Because I don't have a timeline. All right. Well, he'll he, he responds yeah. on Facebook. I've been talking with him most of the morning. Okay. About other business ventures that may be more local than I've been applying for. All right. Yeah. Who knows? All right. Bye.